take them. 55 will have the hammer down too on the restart of this one. Winner a week ago in this class, I believe it was Nathan Allen, the 94. Okay, racing hard on the back stretch. Front three. Running hard now, the 35 overtakes the 60. And Nathan Ray up to fourth spot. Again, he would like a podium finish on this one with all the sponsorship that he's got. 15, a little tough run on the back stretch. Craig Marsh bouncing real hard on the turn two. 28 trying to make some ground on the back stretch. 28 on the low side of the 79 and was able to back out of it. As 79 came down just a little bit. Still the three up front of Shea Gemmel. Jared Shields in second spot. The one of Devin Webb. Nathan Ray in the 35. In fourth right now. Caution as we got a car, the 79, I believe, of Tyler McIntosh on two. Flag conditions, and we're working on laps 16. 15 in. And again, Brent and Dave in the starter stand got their hands full, keeping an eye on the track. Marsh, a little bit of a wheel touch up on uh, turn three and four with the 28. Looking for a move on the low side is Jared uh, Shields underneath the three. And we got him to spin it up on two again. Seen in with nine to go as the sun ducks behind the clouds. Off of turn number two. Pace vehicle through the pits and we're ready to go back at it as the three. Shea Gimmel. Tries to hold down his spot, but being hounded all the way by the 77 of Jared Shields. Now Jared Shields trying to make a stick on the high side of the track. Backs out of it just a little bit. Just trying to make his move, trying to pester Shea Gimmel just a little bit, get him off his game. But again, uh, Shea stays a bit high, a bit low on the turns, just enough to uh, keep the door closed. Devin Webb. Still in there for a third spot as Nathan Ray in the 35 looks on from a fourth spot. Brown goes the three. The three is out. In out of the grass. 28 and 94 on the side right down front here. Nathan Allen. Nathan Allen will put his cart right back down on its wheels. And uh, looks like he's moving okay. So a tough break for the three as they come out of turn number 38 of Colton Becker. The three on the inside of Shea Gemmel and the rear of the field, Jared Shields. Okay, we'll see how they wind up now for the remaining seven laps on this Proline Auto Body. Dave Moore fuels evening here at Grand Bend Speedway. As we try and complete the Junior B feature, 28 came come real hard on the inside of the track out of four, slid high, still hung on, 28 bound to get to the front again, and moving pretty quick as long as that machine can stick. Keep an eye on those front five as well as the remainder of the field got a wheel over the edge of the grass. That was a 60 that time. 28 now, cranking it out. Up to fourth. Taylor Allen in the 28. Up to fourth spot. Now on the outside of Marsh in the 15. 28 looking for a podium finish, but right now it's the one. 35 and the 15. 15 gets underneath Ray. Ray now delegated back to fourth spot. 28 with a lap to go. And the one to lose it all is the one if the 28 can get up there, but the one right now keeping a low groove. Going to be a close finish right down to the wire. 
Keep your eye peeled on the front three at the start finish line at the checker. The one, the 28. The one, 28 and 15. Okay. Good run as we get the helmets and all that uh, off his head. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> Was that a tiring race? Very. Hey, you worked hard. Yeah. Car was stuck to the track pretty good. Sometimes. Sometimes, except when you got into the wall up there on, uh, what, coming off of turn two early in the race? Yeah, I guess. Okay, some people you'd like to thank tonight? Um, Discount Dreamsters, H&M Auto, um, Dave Moore Fuel, Proline Auto Body. Okay, good run for the 15. Lots of hard driving. And uh, better, give, better give you your trophy. You want to pick your trophy out of all that? That's yours, I believe. Now we move up to uh, second spot. Man, y you were charging. You were, what? Everything was set up real good. Yep. Any, 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 real, prob any real problem on the track? Uh, not really. Not really. You just picked your line. Yep. Okay, some people you'd like to thank? Uh, Ron O'Brien, uh, Remax, Transport and Service, Glavin's Refinishing Center, Premium Transport, Allen's Calf, Parker Parker, and CS. Dave Moore Fuels and Proline Auto Body. Okay, good run for the 28. A hard charger he was. And we better give you your trophy. You want to take that one there? That's all yours? Now, now we move to the front of the field and, uh, Hey, you started way back in the pack, didn't you? Oh, yeah. And uh, no problem to get to the front? Oh, not with the, all the people that helped me tonight. Hey, you certainly did a good job. Well, we got a trophy for you and a sticker. Some people you'd like to thank. I'd like to thank David Morris Fields, Proline Auto Body, my dad, and all the people that were helping me when the seas were it. Okay, and uh, Devin Webb, congratulations. There's your trophy. There's your sticker. First time checker flag this year here at uh, Grand Bad Speedway. Put your hands together for all three of way over got hooked up. Manning collision and paint works. Next roll of the 61 of Scott Kipfer out of Dash with Eric Campbell for Quaker State and we'll finish the rest as the race goes on. Green flag is out from Brent. And Dave Portlock as they look over the field, keeping an eye on him each and every lap. Three wide up on the back stretch, almost four wide on the track. Two likes to back out of that one. Lots of wheel to wheel competition in the back of the field. Up front leading the way though, it's the 99 of Matt Corsina. 45 riding along in second spot. Brian Mackel. Third spot, the 87 of Jeff McDonald. Then it's a battle from there on back with the 24 running along in fourth, Jamie Dalkin. Scott Kipfer in the 61. Outside of that is the 11 of Justin Martin charging to try to get to the front of the field. In the middle of the next pack, away to Holiday. Six on the outside, Jamie Marsh and man are they scrambling for position. And bringing up the rear of the field, the nine of uh, Kyle Zaborski driving for Nathan Allen. And last but not least on the field, looks like we got the 17 of Ryan Toll. So now keep an eye on the front of the pack. The 11 pretty well got everything all his own way for fourth spot right now. But then it's a race and a half in for the next group. Holiday gets by in the 08. Goes high on the track, a little bit of wheel contact. Three wide going into turn three, 24 backs out of it. Two gets through, Jason Martin. Martin now up there to uh, fifth spot, Holiday running in sixth. Billy Ritchie on the inside with the 29, giving a competition to Holiday in the 08. But Cresina back to the front of the field in the 99, the 87. Jeff McDonald hanging on to a second at the moment. Now being hounded on the inside by the 11 of Justin Martin. Justin Martin now up to second spot after nine laps.
So right now we got about three races on the track. There's our front bunch. Crescina leading that one. Leader of the next bunch. Jason Martin. Marsh in the six. Followed by the 24 of uh, Jamie Dalkin of the Strathroy. Wheel to wheel up on the turn here for uh, second, third spot. Crescina tucks in behind the 87 for third. Matt Crescina the 99. Now the 45 of Ryan Mako. Knocking on the door of the 99. There's your halfway point right there. A good run so far in this 25 lap feature for the Junior A drivers. Lots of good driving. These guys are sticking to the track. Just like glue at the moment. Justin Martin in the 11. 87 and 99, 1, 2, and 3, but uh, Mackle in the 45. Ryan Mackle looking to uh, take that third spot away for a podium spot if he can. The 11 of Justin Martin out front. Now trying for that second position, the 45 of Mackle. Mackle with just a nose ahead of the 87 that time, the 87 of Jeff McDonald. Cursina running along in fourth right now. Again, he's looking for some space to get around the 87. First looks fairly comfortable, so does second. And now we'll see what happens for this uh, third position at the moment. Cursina in the 99, up to third. Looks like we're in about five to go with this lap of the track. Five to go for the 11 of Justin Martin, the 45, Ryan Mackle, Matt Crosina, the 99. Then a distant fourth, the 87 of Jeff McDonald. Again being hounded by Jason Martin out of Thorndale in the two. Holiday in the 08, Billy Ritchie, the 29, Scott Kemp for the 61. Jamie Marsh in the six, and the nine on the speedway of uh, Kyle Zabrowski, driving for Nathan Allen. Nathan figures he should be back next Friday night. Two to go on the track. As they go green to checker. White flight coming out this time. Next time around. Tiger flag will fly for someone here on the track. Looks like it could be the 11 out front. Justin Martin, the 45 of Mako, and Corsino, the 99. Grass growing underneath your feet tonight. Good run for you, huffing and puffing, hard work out there. Yeah, um, yeah. I, I, I don't, I don't think when the, the fans, you know, they watch you, they, uh, they know it's a good race and everything, but it's a lot, a lot harder than it work, than it looks out there. Oh yeah. You enjoyed it. Yep. Got some people you'd like to thank. Uh, yeah, I'd like to thank Sign Design Plus, Corsina Farms. Dave Moore Fuels, Proline, Auto Body, and West Cast Wood Products. Damn, we got a trophy for you. Want to take that one? It's okay. <laughs> Dad's just checking there. Make sure I gave him the right one. Okay, now up to the 45. We got the Macca crowd up front in second spot. Certainly a challenging race. Yeah. Yeah, car was working really good. And you like those uh, kind of green to checker conditions, no cautions in between? No, I like it and there's no cautions, it's a lot better. Yeah, I believe it, you were rolling real well. And some people you'd like to thank tonight? I'd like to thank my dad, my grandpa, um, everybody in family, Forest Farm Equipment, Blue Water Ford, Roy's Auto Body, Sign Designs, um, Players Canada, and um, Dave Moore Fuels and Proline Auto Body. Okay, there's your trophy there. Okay. 
Now we'll move to the front of the pack. Hey, you came from almost what, near the rear of the field? Yeah, the very back. Picked your way carefully? Yep. Anybody give you a real, uh, any competition out there? Yeah, these two guys did. I believe it, they were after you all the way. And some people you like to thank. Well, I'd like to thank the sponsors of the night, Dave Moore Fuels and uh, Proline Auto Body. I'd like to thank my own sponsors, Form and Build, uh, Not Auto Body, JJ Christie, uh, Extreme Toys, uh, Coca Cola, and Extreme Racewear. And I'd like to thank all the fans for coming out tonight. Okay, we got a trophy for you, and there's your uh, sticker of the season. Thank you. Okay, congratulations. Put your hands all together for the A Bunch. Good show. It'll be Friday night, 7 o'clock. Friday night, 7 o'clock next week because of the IHRA meet next door. Derek Whitey leads them off turn four for the drop of the green. And he's trying to get hooked up early. And uh, yet, so you just gotta wait your time. Now they're all together and much better start. As Brent's got his hands full, as well as Dave Portlock, keep an eye on the field. Derek Whiting setting the pace on this one so far. Derek Whiting up front, McGlone the 20. Right along there in second spot, Megan Kip for the 27 and third. 35 of Louis Desjardins. And we got 11-5 for your leader at the moment. 11-5 for the nine. Louis Desjardins cranking off underneath the uh, 27 of Megan Kipfer. Got by her coming out of turn four. Now Lewis looking to overtake the 20 of McGlone. Lewis hooked up real good tonight, as well as Thompson, the 72. Megan looking out in the 27, voting the 24, and Weep the 21. Derek Whiting wants to keep this one rolling just the way it is right now on the track, see if he can maintain the lead. But 35, Lewis Desjardins is closing in. Closing in a few tenths of a second each and every lap. McGlone in the 20, Thompson the 72. And underneath the 20 of McGlone comes the 72 of Thompson. McGlone, a little brush of the wall right down front. And can Derek Whiting hold off the charge of Louis Desjardins? Moving pretty good. We got nine in of this 25 lap feature. Now Lewis right up on the back bumper of the nine of Derek Whiting. Whiting noses there, gives him a little bit of room and gets under him. 35, Lewis Desjardins on lap 11 taking the lead on this one. Lewis still moving hard to the front. Now Thompson's got his work cut out for him to get underneath the nine, does that. Now he's got his sights on the th 35 of Lewis Desjardins. Halfway coming up this time around. There's your halfway point for Louis Desjardins. Thompson, the 72, Whiting, McGlone, Megan Kipfer, Brett Bowden, and the 21 of Weeb. See what he can do to get around Weeb as he laps him. 35 of Louis Desjardins. Yep, makes a stick there. Thompson the 72 now trying to do the same thing as he's trying to overtake Lewis as they come off of turn number two. And again, Thompson's moving in on Lewis each and every lap of the track. 35, 72, and the nine of Derek Whiting. like Lewis is hooked up pretty good if he can just maintain the momentum. So Brett Vogt is reminded 
And here we go, 9 and 21. So we got about 5 to go. Lewis going to take the outside of Voden. Who's going to... And a little screw up and 75 for 72 at Thompson gets by on lap 21. Lewis tries to get it back. Realized he got a little high in there, got trapped in behind Brett Bowden. And what more can we say? And Thompson was just waiting for a miscue to be made. It happened. Two to go. 72, 35, and the 9, unofficially. And across for the one lap, white flag. Tracker coming out next time around. Lewis, see if he can make one more last bid to catch him, and can't do it. There we go, double flags. Seven to 35 and nine. Well, Derek, looks like your truck is working better and better uh, after uh, a couple of weeks of racing. Uh, yeah, it's getting there. I mean, we still got quite a bit, but these guys are still quite a bit quicker than us, but we're getting a little bit closer every week. We'll get one. Well, it uh, looked good in the early going. Uh, you were out front, but uh, they were gradually uh, gaining a little bit of momentum, but it uh, looked to be working good. Uh, yeah, I can't complain. Still a little loose, but, I mean, we'll get it figured out. Still got some gear problems, too, but it's coming. Okay, some people you'd like to thank here this evening. Uh, first off, I'd like to thank Dave Moore Fuels and Proline Auto Body for sponsoring tonight. Um, then, I'm probably going to forget some, but I got a whole list. Uh, I'd like to thank my sponsors, uh, Four Seasons Performance, Crime Stoppers, Kelder's Trailers, um, FX Auto Sign, uh, Decker Gear. We got all night. <laughs> uh, Paint Glass by Winston, uh, Track 21 Graphics, Hyde Brothers, A Stitch Above, CTF Supply, Prime Source, TNT Security, Leaf, and I, I think that's everything. Okay. Good run for you in the nine. Now moving up to uh, Lewis. Lewis just got trapped in behind the 24 uh, lap truck coming out of turn two. That left the door open. You just about got the checker. Yeah, I don't know, the lap traffic, uh, you don't know if he's going high or low. He just kind of run me up there, but Sean, congratulations on the win. Okay, some people you'd like to thank, Lewis? Yeah, I'd like to thank Dave Moore Fuels and Pauline Auto Body and Eric Campbell Ford. D and D glass and pro, uh, big rig lettering. Okay, good run for you. Now Sean in the uh, 72 uh, back in the front, just like uh, usual. It looked like uh, Lewis had it on you, but uh, he got trapped and you took advantage. Yeah, he got he pulled away pretty good. I think we were about the same speed. Just, uh, lap traffic kind of helped me there. I don't know how I made it by, but I did. Well, there was, you just barely stayed on the track going into three. Yeah, she, she was a little wet down in there. Hey, hey, we've got a lake out there. Some people you'd like to thank today. First off, I'd like to thank Dave Mears Fuel and Proline Auto Body for sponsoring tonight. I'd like to thank Tops Motorsports, Snap On Tours, my Uncle Jerry, uh, and the fans for coming out tonight. Okay, and there's your sticker for the win. Okay, number two. Put your hands together for the trucks. Another good show. Feature action here at Grand Bend Speedway. Lights out. And the green's on. A little bit of touch by Grandma on the two. A little bit of fishtail. And completing the first lap of the field in the lead, Christina Duncan. The subway machine in the lead. Melanie McCann. In the 16 and the 2 of Holly Porter. Grandma looking on in the 1. Oh, 4 of Lori Martin. Just kind of biting your time right at the moment. As we got 3 laps into this. Uh, 20 lap feature event. Still no challenge on the 15 of uh, Christina Dalkin. 
Grandma's on the high side of the track, a little bit loose, coming out of four. Now Laurie's up to third spot after starting dead last. Tucked in behind the 16 of Melanie McCann. Laurie Martin just taking her time. She's got lots of time to get to the front. At least that's her aim, as it is everybody's. Grab a uh, checker flag finish. Grandma's just a little bit slower tonight. A little loose on the track. Grandma, Grandma's loosey goosey. <laughs> okay, halfway coming up. Uh, Lori a little bit loose out there too, and she came out of turn two. A little bit of fishtail coming out of turn two. She's pretty high on the track. Yeah, she's really loose now. <laughs> she's on the green. Digging up dew worms. Okay, Brent and Dave and Starter stand. We got our pace vehicle. Off to the pits, and we're back under green flag racing with the 15 at Christina Dalkin. The Napa subway machine leading the way right now. McCann in the 16, that's Melanie in second. The two of Holly Porter. She's stuck to that track pretty good. Grandma Lang in the one. Don't believe she brought her bus tonight. And for the first time out, these ladies are uh, moving pretty good after just being on the track a week ago. And maybe we can see what kind of times that they may be turning. <laughs> 